بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in a hadith of Qudsi. He said صلى الله عليه وسلم that Allah the Almighty said أنفق يا ابن آدم أنفق إليك. That the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said Allah the Almighty, the Creator of the heavens and earth, the only one worthy of worship, said. He said, spend children of Adam, and I will spend upon you. In this hadith, it shows us the importance of spending our wealth for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we should strive to support good. First and foremost, the best of good is supporting your families. Spend on those people who it is an obligation to spend upon, meaning if you're married, first and foremost, your spouse, your wife, and your children, and your parents. And then gives and then those people who are also next in, and close to them and give in charity, give to righteous causes. And one of the important types of causes that are is is righteous that a person can support. And what we need to consider supporting is supporting students of knowledge, supporting those people who strive in the path of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to spread the religion of Islam. They need to be supported wherever they are, whether they're in Yemen, whether they're in uh, Saudi Arabia, whether they're in Mauritania, wherever they may be, in Egypt, striving and sacrificing their time, their wealth, and their property, and their families often, that you should support them. And why is it important to support them and then support Da'wah al-Allah, to support those? Support the Maraqis of Sunnah, wherever they may be, wherever the people are learning the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, support those places. Because we see that the people of innovation, the people of deviance, the people of disbelief are supporting their people. How many Christian missionaries are out in, in, in many various countries in Africa supporting what they believe in? Spending their time, their wealth, and, and, and making sacrifice. Physical, mental, and spiritual sacrifice. And how many people do we know from the wealthy elements in the Shia community who are supporting Dawah in Africa, in Indonesia, in many places. We hear sad stories that there being something like 3 million Shia in Nigeria. This is unheard of and this is absolutely uh, unacceptable. Ahlul Sunnah needs to support Ahlul Sunnah. Ahlul Sunnah needs to spend their wealth and their time. If you don't even have money or anything to support Dawah and you don't have knowledge to speak and support Dawah, then at least support Islam with a good word. And at least seek knowledge enough to know the difference between truth and, and wrong. That you know the truth from what is false. That you can tell when the Prophet Wasallam ordered us to follow his sunnah. You can tell who's following his sunnah and who is not following his sunnah. Who's telling you to roll around and, and turn off the lights like a dervish and dance into paradise? Who's telling you to make liquor in ways that are un unknown that resemble more of people reciting the popes uh, doing uh, things that we see many Catholics participating in? Who's telling you to do these things? And not telling you to follow the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to remember Allah the way the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam remembered Allah. Pray like the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam prayed. Do like the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us to do, and what he did and gave us as an example, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That's what we're ordered to do. So bringing back to the main point is that we should spend our wealth in supporting khair and good. Spend it in building masajid. Spend it in, in supporting and spend it in da'wah in Allah. Spend your wealth in supporting good, in supporting the da'wah in Allah, wherever it may be, in your own countries, in other countries, wherever it is, you should try to spread the beauty and the light of Islam for everyone. No one should have, have misconceptions about Islam. So it's on us to learn Islam and spread it. Spread it with our wealth, spread it with our sacrifice. And I ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with success in this life and protect us from the evil of the shayateen, from the men and the jinn.